Hey folks, Marty up north. Uh, hope everybody's doing good. Today is May 8th and I'm in my backyard. I actually pan over there, uh, Ray. The snow, the snow has finally melted and uh, the Alberta government has lifted the, a, the, um, the closure on the park. So tomorrow I'm going to go for an overnight hike uh, in uh, Kananaskis country. Now, my last trip of the year I was still using, I, Actually, you saw, many of you saw, I got this new uh, 46 liter uh, ultralight light AF pack, the Curve 46, earlier this year. Um, and I used it once on a trip to Point. But, you know, in the winter, I generally have to carry a lot of bulky items, so I still like to use my big pack. But today, tomorrow, for this trip, it's a simple overnight trip. We're going to, I actually, uh, I'm just going to follow a creek to uh, a destination that I know. There's still a lot of snow in the back country, so I'm going to stay on the uh, on the edges of a creek where I know the snow is melted. I'm not going to go to high elevation, and it's a quick exploration. Just want to get out, maybe do five, six, seven kilometers, and uh, come back home. So a simple overnight trip. So for that purpose, I'm going to transfer only very essential gear into my light pack, and I'm going to do it in real time for you. So the first thing I'm doing tomorrow is uh, for for this trip is. This is a zero degree Celsius bag. This is my uh, Outdoor Vitals bag. So that's all I'm bringing for this trip. Uh, I'm not gonna bring two sleeping bags. So I'm just gonna bring one bag. And I'm gonna stuff it. This this bag has been fantastic to me all winter. I've had it for almost a year now. It is definitely my go-to bag. It's a synthetic, it's a hybrid. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a treated down and a synthetic down. So it's, um, it dries quickly. Anything you do live, called Murphy's Law, if something can go wrong, it will. Okay. So, compress my sack. There you go. So, step one for my weekend trip, or for my overnight trip, is. I don't need this garbage bag. So I'm going to put the sleeping bag in the bottom. Fits nicely. Now, um, for this, I'm still going to bring my Thermarest. Now my Thermarest, I'm used to carrying it on the sides. And I will put it on the side of this pack. And I'm also bringing... Um, yeah, I'll bring my reflective uh, ground sheet. So I will not be bringing, I will not be bringing my foamy, but I will bring the reflective ground sheet. So that'll go in there. And then uh, for for half the winter, I've been using my Marmot uh, tungsten uh, ultralight one person tent. So I'm going to bring that on the trip. Now you saw in. Uh, in a video very recently, my little uh, Tokes uh, 750 milliliter cook set with one canister of fuel. So there's a fire ban on. So I'm bringing a, my Tokes, which fits nicely in this side pocket. On this side, I will bring my water that I will put there. Actually, let's insert this. Uh, I got this nice. on the side there now really don't need a lot of things for uh, for uh, uh, an overnight trip I raided the pantry 
and uh, here let's just let's just dump what I raided in the pantry so I'm bringing uh, I don't have Evan with me so I'm bringing uh, Uncle Ben's uh, rice and some uh, some some tuna so that'll be one of the dinners I always bring a cup of soups so I got a you know the they're in there as sort of emergencies. I got a cup of soups in there. I got three of them. I mean, they weigh nothing. A couple of teas. So I'm going to bring that. Green Belly earlier this year sent me these fantastic um, almost meal substitute. It's a, it's a, you know, it's an, it's an energy bar, but it's basically a meal substitute because you get a nice balance of not just carbs or not just fat or protein it's a it's a one-third 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 so it's almost a meal replacement but they taste really good so throw it in there just in case breakfast you know a couple of oatmeal, a couple of coffees and some crystal light juices some peanuts for the trail and of course at night sitting around a little bottle of whiskey so that'll go in the pack near the bottom everything fits nicely in there now I don't need a lot of clothes for a trip like this and I probably don't need to put them in the pouch but I like to sleep in some fleece I might still get cold at night so I'm gonna bring a pair of uh, some fleece pants and an extra pair of socks and just a synthetic t-shirt to sleep in so if it gets cold that uh, not if it gets cold but I'll be hiking in something like this and I get all sweaty at the end of the day so it's nice to change into a clean shirt and of course I bring little uh, down or uh, not down um, fleece gloves so a little bit of clothes to bring which will get stuffed into the side now um, what else was I bringing last year? I never leave home without a first aid kit. I know some guys do. I don't know why you would do that. First aid kit, toilet paper. Uh, in the top of this pack here will be a little bag that has a few supplies like a bit of rope. Um, that'll go in there. And uh, actually a spoon I'll put the spoon with the rope that's in there and uh, I had a headlamp somewhere oh, it, the Sun we, we have long hours of daylight but I'm still bringing the headlamp and then for around camp or in case I need to cross a creek I like to bring Crocs and that'll go in there and then I'm going to bring a puffy fleece jacket it has a pouch but uh, I'm just gonna stuff it in there and uh, I will most likely be wearing this rain jacket at some point during the day tomorrow but if I'm not that also goes in there and from last year's path I'm bringing my trusty mug and that's basically it there's nothing else in here that I need oh my inflatable pillow and finally I will reattach a bear spray onto this onto this pack so there you go I'm just gonna tidy it up and then we're gonna weigh it and show you people what it weighs like uh, for an overnight trip everything's in there clean just gonna Close it. Okay. Just, uh, the bear spray fits in the side pocket nicely and then I just uh, use the carabiner to attach it so I don't lose it now um, let's and, and then uh, I just wanted to show this uh, 
I'm bringing a walking stick. I always bring a walking stick, but um, one of these, um, this is a GoPro attachment so you can mount your GoPro on the handlebars of your bike. Well, you put it on there and then I can mount the GoPro and I can use a GoPro. I can use a stick as a gimbal or lots of things. Uh, I got the idea from uh, from somebody from uh, Evan actually. He had a fancier one, but then I realized just a cheap one will do. Okay, let's see what this thing. So this is fully loaded. The only thing that's not in there. So I'm not playing games again with the base weight concept. You know, there is an emergency first aid kit in there. There is food. Uh, I just don't have water, and you know, water would weigh. Uh, uh, and I'm not bringing a filter because where we're going, there's plenty of water. I'm not worried about that. So let's see what. Uh, Okay, so moment of truth, Big Bad Marty steps on. 192, Ray, 192.6. And then let's uh, reset it to zero. And then turn it back on. And with the pack, my God, this thing feels like it weighs nothing. 192 212 so 20 pounds so going overnight with 20 pounds wow that's pretty light so I'll be able to basically go exploring all day and walk uh, effortlessly